and, and Ryan Johnson would host uh, a game of Mafia, which is a murder mystery game. And um, I play a lot of murder mystery games, like with my friends and my family. And yes, I've gotten the card where I am the murderer. But with them, I wasn't. And I was so mad. I was like, uh, like I came fully dressed up. I had a cape. I had a cane. I had a top hat. I had a mustache. I had, <laughs> I had like, you know, I was in full character. I was This is Anthony with the movie blog. I'm also in New York. How you doing? Um, we've heard stories that there were these murder mystery parties that Ryan Johnson threw for the cast while filming, but nobody's really like getting in the details as to what actually went down. <laughs> My question isn't, you don't have to spill the details. My question is, were you ever the killer in one of these mysteries? And if so, did it give you a taste to finally play a villain in one of your projects? <laughs> no, I was so upset when we did our murder mystery parties. I think what you're talking about is we would, okay, we couldn't go out and like party in the streets of Serbia. So what production did to make sure that we were entertained and we were not trying to leave is that they rented out the top floor of our hotel bar and restaurant. So we would eat dinner, we would get drinks and, and Ryan Johnson would host uh, a game of mafia, which is a murder mystery game. And um, I play a lot of murder mystery games, like with my friends and my family. And yes, I've gotten the card where I am the murderer. But with them, I wasn't. And I was so mad. I was like, uh, like I came fully dressed up. I had a cape. I had a cane. I had a top hat. I had a mustache. I had, <laughs> I had like, you know, I was in full character. I was like, I, I played the, the, the drunken, uh, the town's drunken magician. And I did not get the freaking card. I was mad, but um, it was so fun. Uh, they are a very competitive bunch. We were like nerdy thespians, you know, who were just like excited to play and 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 you know didn't want our parents to come and pick us up. That's <laughs> how I described it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. and to answer your second part of your question, yes, I would love to play a villain of course <laughs> like oh that would be so fun i would have so much fun doing that the right villain though because miles okay. Bryan nope. is a villain and i don't know if i want to play miles Bryan. edward did a great job at that um something i noticed is that a lot of the cast they seem to be like in awe of you not just us but they were in awe of you too and it sounded like that they were just constantly trying to absorb from you but as an artist, I know that's a two-way street. I'm curious, what did you take from this cast, from working with Ryan? What did you take from working with this team that you're going to use on your next project? Oh, my goodness. I learned so much from these people. You know, I will say, like, there was a, a part of me that was a little nervous about coming, you know, into this shoot and showing up in Greece and and just, like, working with Daniel Craig, who's, like, James fucking Bond, right? Like. <laughs> done so much and he was already iconic as Benoit Blanc and the last knives out and then Edward Norton like a lot of people don't know this but when I performed in 2014 on SNL Edward Norton was the host so we had met and and uh, he had introduced me and for us to be working on a film together was like a different you know level because Fight Club is like forever in my <laughs> top 10 uh and even Kate and Catherine Hudson and Leslie and like this Dave uh, all of the all of my cast members could lead a film and they've led films and tv shows and they're just iconic and and um I just watched their processes I watched also like them be nervous you know a lot of us hadn't filmed many things in the pandemic so we were returning jitters like do we still got it you know and that helped calm me because it's like oh they've done all this stuff but they still they still get nervous so I just learned to to just be upfront and open about like you know if you're nervous if you are um just be transparent people respect that it allows for true connection it allows for um, people to show up and help you if you need it um I think with Ryan Johnson Ryan is one of the most humble uh caring um I mean he's talented we know that but his vibe on set was so cool his demeanor was cool he never lost his cool and things happen 
with big productions with big personalities like stuff happens and he I never saw him like I, he never showed that side of him which always was very disarming which always was um which always made me feel uh um just relaxed you know like you don't have to assert your power in a chaotic way to get a result and I love that about Ryan and I just hope that when I start directing that I make people feel how Ryan Johnson made me feel <laughs> Thank you.